So I get a lot of questions in the comments of my videos where people are having problems with the mirror modifier. And it seems like a common problem that many people face. So I thought I'd make this quick video to show you how to fix any problems with the mirror modifier. So probably the main reason why this happens is because when they add the mirror modifier, the object's origin isn't in the very center of the 3D scene. And let me just give you an example. So let's say I have this cube here and I want to mirror it over to the other side. So I'm just going to bring this cube over to the other side side and I am in object mode when I'm doing this. So now what I'm going to do on this cube is I'm going to click on add modifier and I'm going to go right down here under generate and add the mirror modifier. And you can see nothing seems to happen. And even when I change these different axes or try to play around with any of the settings, nothing seems to work. Now why this is happening is because on default the mirror modifier mirrors the object from the object's origin. So every object has a little orange dot right there, kind of a yellow orange dot in the center. So the mirror modifier needs something that it can go to to know where the center of the object is. And so the mirror modifier sees that origin point as being the very center. Now when you move an object around in object mode, you are moving the entire object. So you are moving all of the object's geometry as well as the object itself. So I I can move this around and you can see that little origin there is staying in the center. And if for some reason you don't see the origin, it might be because the overlays is turned off or also if you click on this button to go to the overlay settings, you can see right there there is this origin button and you can toggle that on or off. So again, when you move the objects around in object mode, the origin is going to move along as well as the geometry. However, if I now press tab to go into edit mode, now when I double tap the A key to select everything, I can press G to grab and you can see that we're able to now see the mirror modifier taking effect. And that is because in edit mode, you're not actually moving the object, you're just moving the geometry which is inside the object. But the object hasn't moved, you can see the origin point is right here, so even though I've moved the cube, the object is actually staying in the same spot. It's just that the geometry within the object has been moved. So because the mirror modifier sees this as the center of the object, it's now mirroring it over on the x-axis. And this is the x axis, this red line going back and forth, and the green line is the y axis, and then the z axis is up and down. If you press 1 on the numpad to go to front view, you can see the z axis right there. And also if you click right here on the viewport overlays, you can click right here on the z axis and then you can preview the z axis. So there are a few different ways to fix this, which I'm going to show you right now. So I've added this cube right here, and then in object mode, I just move the cube over here. And this is the mistake that I think many people make. They move the cube over in object mode, so the origin point is still right over here. So now I've added the mirror modifier, but you can see even though I'm turning on the x-axis to mirror it back and forth on the x-axis, it appears as though nothing is happening. Now it is actually mirroring the cube properly, but because it's mirroring it from the object's origin, if I tab to go into edit mode, I can press G to grab, and you can basically see that it's as if there are two cubes on top of each other. So what we can do is we can tell the object's origin to be placed in the very center of the 3D scene and then that way it will be mirrored over to the other side. So to do this, we first want to take this 3D cursor and we want to make sure it's in the very center. So to do this, you can hold down the Shift and S button. So just hold down the Shift and S button, and when you do that, this pie menu is going to appear. Now I want to move my mouse over to Cursor to World Origin, and then I will let go of the Shift and S button. And that is going to bring this 3D cursor to the very center of the scene. You can also just press Shift C, and Shift C it will also bring the 3D cursor to the very center of the scene. So now what I can do is just make sure this cube is selected, and then you can click right up here on Object, and I'm going to click on set origin and I can click on origin to 3D cursor. So when you click on that option, it's going to take the origin of the object that's selected and it's going to bring the origin to the 3D cursor. So if I just bring the 3D cursor over here, you can now see that that object's origin is right there in the very center. You can see that tiny little orange dot there. And so now that the origin is right there in the center, it is mirroring it over properly to the other side. So that's the first way to fix it, but I do want to show you a few other options. So another option that you could use is you could use this mirror object setting. So what the mirror object setting does is it tells the object to be mirrored from the center of a different object. So on default it uses the object's origin, but you can actually tell it to mirror it from another object's center. So what I'm going to do is press shift C to center the 3D cursor, and then I'm going to press shift A, and you could just add some other object, like maybe you have a sphere or something. You might have a different object already in your scene, but if you don't have any object in the center or you don't 
want to add some sort of visible object, you could just delete this. What you could use instead is you could press Shift A, you could go right down here and you could add an empty. So I like to use the plane axis. So these empties, you're not actually able to see them in the rendered view because they don't actually have any faces. So when you render them, you're not going to see them. So this object is now in the very center of the 3D scene. So if I click back over on the cube, I can now go to the mirror object and you can just like click right here and choose an object. But what I want to do is click on the eyedropper and then I'm going to click right here and select the empty. So this way, instead of the mirror modifier mirroring the object over by its origin, the mirror modifier is now mirroring the object by this object's origin. And what you can also do is you can select the empty and press G to grab. And you can see because the object is being mirrored over by the empty, wherever you move the empty, that is going to actually affect the mirror. So if you move it over here, now it's going to mirror from right here from the center of the empty, or you could move it out and it's going to mirror right from here. There is one more option that I want to show you though. So I'm going to press X to delete. We'll delete this empty and then I'm going to select the cube again. So because we don't have any object in the mirror object, it's just using the origin, which is right there in the center. And what you can do is you can press Alt G. So by pressing Alt G, you are clearing any transforms of the object. If I press the N key, the N key is going to open up the side panel and I'm going to click right over here on item. So you can see that right here, because we have this object selected, this object has location, rotation, and scale values. So when you press G to grab, you can see that these values are moving because you are moving this around in the 3D space. So basically you can move an object, but all objects have a default location location, a default rotation, and a default scale. So now that I've moved this over, if I again press Alt G, that is going to bring it back to the very center there. It's going to clear the location values and turn it to zero. Now why this is very helpful is because now the cube is in the center, so I can now just press Tab to go into edit mode, and I can press G to grab, I can hit X to bring it over on the X axis, and I can just stick it there. And I can tab back into object mode, and now you can see that it is mirroring it over properly. So those are three really easy ways to fix this problem. And this is why in so many of my tutorials, I press Shift C to center the 3D cursor or hold down the Shift and S button, go to cursor to world origin and then let go. And that brings the 3D cursor into the very center. And why this is important is because if you press Shift A and you add some sort of object, the object is gonna be added wherever the 3D cursor is. So if the 3D cursor is right up here, I can press Shift A and I can add a monkey and it's added right there wherever the 3D cursor is. Now another reason why you might not be seeing the mirror modifier is simply because you chose the wrong axis. So that's really easy to fix. You can just click on the different axis buttons right here on the mirror modifier settings. So X is probably the main one that you're going to use, but you might also be using Y or Z. If I press G to grab and just kind of move this over, you can see if I turn all these off, I can now turn on the X one. So that's going to go back and forth this way. I can also turn on the Y axis. That's going to go back and forth this way or the Z axis, and that's gonna go up and down. And then something else that I did wanna mention, it is possible that the mirror modifier might just be hidden from your view. So if you click on this button right here, this is a little monitor icon. If you click on that, the mirror modifier is still there, but it's just hidden from your view. So that's something I just want to let you know about. It might just be that that is turned off. Now, while we're talking about the mirror modifier, I thought I might just go over a few more issues you might face. So just for example, I'm making this like smiley face character and I wanna add a smiley face right here. So I'm going to add a cube and then what I wanna do is add the mirror modifier so it's mirroring it over to both sides and that way I can kind of model a mouth. So I am going to click on add modifier and I can go right down here and add the mirror modifier and then I'm going to press the tab key to go into edit mode and then I can press G to grab and just kind of move this over and then I wanna make like a smiley face. So I'm going to press S to scale. I'm going to scale it down and then I will press S to scale and let's hit X to scale it on the X axis and I'm going to bring this out. All right, now this is kind of blocky and so I want to give this a subdivision surface modifier. So I'm going to click on add modifier and I can add the subdivision surface modifier. And then on the subdivision surface modifier, I'm just going to bring up the levels viewport and render up to like three and then I can just shade this object smooth. Now you can see that there is a problem here and that is that the G 
geometry is not merging with the mirror. And so how you fix this is by going right over here to the mirror modifier and turning on the clipping button. So when you turn on the clipping button, any geometry which is touching the mirror modifier is going to be joined together. So now I can press G to grab and I can bring this out and I can just click to place that. And you can see now it is joining together with the mirror modifier. So the mirror modifier is right here in the very center. And so when this topology, when the geometry hits the very center, it's going to be merged together with the mirror. And now if I select everything and press G to grab, you can see that I can't pull it away from the mirror modifier. It's attached to the very center. If I turn off the clipping though, then I could press G to grab and I can pull it apart. But then if I just turn back on the clipping button, I can press G to grab and bring it together and it's going to stick together. Now there is one more common problem with this that I want to show you. If you zoom in here, you can see that the shading looks a little bit weird. And also if I want to make this like a smiley face, if I tab to go into edit mode and then press R to rotate, kind of rotate this up so that it is round, you can see if I go back into object mode, it's very straight here. So something is clearly wrong with the topology. And why this is, is because we actually have a face right here in the very center where the mirror is. Because if I tab to go into edit mode and then I just want to hide the mirror so what I'm going to do is click on this little button right here and that is going to hide the mirror from the view you can see there is a face right there in the very center of where the mirror modifier merges so this is really easy to fix you can just click right over here to the face select you can then just select this face and then you can press x to delete and we want to delete the faces so now you can see that face is deleted so that is open there but then if I just turn on the mirror modifier again by clicking on that little icon there you can see that now it is connecting and we're not having that issue so now that smile just kind of rotates up like that maybe even add like a loop cut by pressing Control r just kind of rotate them out there and then if you're still having problems with the mirror modifier it might be because you have your modifiers in the incorrect order so basically what blender does is it uses the first modifier and then it uses the second modifier and then it uses the next one and it starts at the very top and continues to go down so what you can do is you can actually click right here on these little dots and you can actually drag the modifiers. So in this case, I want the mirror modifier to come first because I first want it to mirror the object. If I just click on this button to hide it, I first want the mirror modifier to mirror it. And then after the mirror modifier, I want it to have the subdivision surface so that it subdivides it and kind of smooths it all out. Whereas if I click on these little dots right here and drag up, I can bring the subdivision surface before the mirror. And the problem with that is that then you have that really sharp edge there and the shading looks a bit weird because you have the mirror modifier after. So it may just be as simple as switching these two modifiers because we first want to mirror it and then we want to subdivide it and smooth it all out. So I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.